Right. Let's quickly begin the admission procedure for the sitara. So, as there are 20 seats and 700 students have been called up, so what are the all steps that you are going to go through, no matter what is your branch? So, let's take them up. The very first thing is SOP statement of purpose that you have already done while you had applied for it. So, but don't forget what you have written. You should have that SOP with you because they are going to ask you questions from your SOP. So, what all you have written, you should be very sure of it and you should have valid justifying reasons about what you have written. Next thing is, as okay, so, so SOP which is already done, then is assignment which you have to do at your home or before you go for the written test. Then is a written test. There will be a written test for two hours and uh, it will have kind of two sections, one small section and one bigger section. The first section has to be uh, passed by you to get evaluated for the second section. Then our interviews, again there are two interviews, interview one and interview two. Written test is going to happen on 14th of May. Interview first is going to happen on 15th May. Interview two is going to happen on 16th May. So it's, a, it's really a long procedure. Uh, so let's first of all check for the assignment. What you are supposed to do is, of course, you all who have got shortlisted would have got these details in the email also, but still I'm repeating them. That you have to visit a public place. It could be a, like a business place. It could be a social place. It could be a service kind of place like a uh, state transportation place. It could be a uh, uh, transportation bus stand. It could be a um, railway station. It could be some community place. It could be some hospital any of such place uh, where you have to stay for six hours or more and then you have to record your observations whatever you observe being there as a part of that place you being a part of that place what all you do observe uh, that you have to record record as in record in your notes record in your mind okay and observe uh, the the things around you the people around you are they having any kind of problem do you feel any kind of difficulty in the in the kind of procedure going on there in the process they are the people are going through and uh, then you have to make a report about it and you know six hours are very good duration uh, to make anybody observe something okay so once you observe and get back to your place you have to write a report about it the report should include your experience being there the analysis that you made being there whatever you have observed the thoughts which went through in your mind when you were there the solution of any problem that you had faced or you observe or you came across and your approach to that problem and uh, the approach of your solution so all that things makes up your report so it has to be well planned in such order that it 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 shows that you have really invested your six hours in observing something which is faced by others on a day-to-day -day basis and how you can think about it solution as okay so that's about your report and this report you have to bring with you when you go for the written test and interview and this report again just like your SOP this report is going to be a big subject of your interview next comes the written test which is on going to happen on 14th May the first part which is a small section part like a 30 minute section it is going to include questions from basic aptitude English comprehension the um, basic reasoning and mathematical questions which you all have prepared for almost all the exams okay so that is going to be your first part and that has to be passed you have to pass it for your second paper to get evaluated and the second paper is more about the social articles the social age issues what you have uh, uh, you must have read uh, the department must have sent you an email or, or not the department page has uh, uh, has the detail about the admission procedure where they have mentioned four links about reading articles so they have given you reading articles which you are supposed to read you might see certain questions from those articles in your second paper so and uh, if somebody is not a social animal and doesn't have a social awareness is not up to with the current affairs going on then for them it might be a kind of uh, little problem otherwise it's not and it's not a very limited thing and technical thing which somebody can you know ask you to uh, learn about 
so this this goes more about the thinking so you need to attempt that paper with that manner that is about the written test after the written test is over there is going to be an address by the head of the department uh, after the address of the head of the department you will get to, to uh, get to get a chance to talk with the sitara uh, existing uh, students who are part of sitara at this moment of time from second year and first year so you get your all the doubts in your mind all questions in your mind solved right there then the result will be out by the end of the day the next day is the first round of interview whoever gets shortlisted after the written test so the first interview uh, you might expect questions of course about yourself which you really need to prepare very well you need to be prepared for a kind of 3 to 4 minute of about yourself thing that how uh, you can present yourself in front of those uh, people there might be questions from your undergraduate project like everything about undergraduate project like a flow chart of it the the blog diagram of it what did you do uh, what need to be done how it can be helping um, it they might, and you know the agenda for them is the social problem the social work the social cause so they will definitely try to ask you and relate your ask you to relate your work to any social issues they might ask you to relate it with your assignment work also okay so you have to be prepared and be very clear about what you have done okay then about your sop of course there are going to be questions from your sop it has to be impressive as well as it has to be answerable it, it, it if it is impressive only in terms of words what you have written and they don't reflect in what you are speaking there then you are gone there so what you have written you should reflect that in your talk be confident about it then is your report of course the assignment report it has to be and you can't do something like this that you did not really uh, did the assignment just took the report from somewhere and just go with that no you just just do it because i guess this can be easily done by most of the people uh, out there who are traveling to iit bombay you are traveling you are going through some transportation system maybe railway maybe uh, buses maybe something else so you get to see places where you are going to really be present for a longer number of times so you can observe that and make a report about that okay the general awareness questions you are expected you can expect some questions from the general awareness then uh, there can be questions from government ministries and the schemes running under the government ministries uh, so because as i told you the fellowship also has ministry of rural development um, Uh, fellowship so you can uh, get easily uh, get a uh, idea about ministry of rural development on its website go check the schemes running uh, check the schemes how they are working what they are working for because you might find questions from that this becomes your part of first interview uh, which happens on the 15th may once the interview is done then again shortlisting is done and only few people go for the next round uh, not everyone from the first round goes to the next round the next interview is on 16th and that is more like an hr interview like we the hr tries to know do you really want to join our company and uh, i mean how willing you are to join our company show us that and this is exactly what they would try to check you by poking you in that do you really want to join our department if yes then why okay so this is why the determination to join the sitara this is all going to be the part of your second interview and uh, this is all about the admission procedure uh, once again i'm sorry to delay it but all the very best for everyone who is going to attend it and one one simple request if you really wish to join the sitara and you find interest in whatever is happening there whatever uh, is the department is all about then only go and uh, appear for it otherwise it's of no use you ultimately end up in frustrating yourself in all the two years of your you know course duration so find your interest and then go for it uh, that's it uh, all the very best uh, for your interviews which are all through the next week uh, for all the departments please do share the video with your friends so that they uh, can also get benefited and i will quickly see you in other video uh, which i probably have to make on ior but i know i'm late for that also but i think i should make that one so see you soon bye bye